everybody, how's it going? It's a Daily Shooter, and today we're going to have some fun testing out some ammunition using this clear ballistics block that I got from clearballistics.com. They actually sent this out to the channel for review, and I'm really excited to try it out, but I wanted to show it to you while it was still fresh before we actually put a round in it, because this stuff is ridiculously clear. This is a 6x6x16 by six by inch block, and that's what we're going to be using today, and it even comes with a certification. So this has been hand tested. Uh, they shoot it with a .177 caliber BB uh, in order to calibrate it. So it does come with a certificate of calibration, which is uh, pretty nice. Now, the ammunition that we're going to be testing for my first clear ballistics gel test is going to be the Corbon MPR 300 blackout round. Now, I was surprised because about a week and a half ago, I put out a video where I was asking people if they could give me their suggestions on the first round that I test. And a lot of people were saying either just 300 blackout or they were actually specifically saying the Corbon MPR because I had uh, previously done a review and we're going to look at some of that review footage right now. The close second place, very close second place, was the Hornady Critical Duty and the Hornady Critical Defense. So what I'm going to do is that'll be my next test. I'm going to test out the Hornady Critical Duty and the Hornady Critical Defense. But first, we're going to start with what was the most popular comment. That was, again, the Corbon NPR. This is a really cool round. It's a supersonic 300 blackout round. It has a kind of this, uh, it's like a resin tip. To it. it is an extremely accurate round. Uh, they say it has one of the highest, if not the highest, ballistic coefficient of this particular caliber on the market right now. And they also say that it's a good round for just about everything. Even on the box, uh, it has a bunch of different little icons to let you know that this is uh, for not only personal defense and hunting, but also for long-range accuracy. I found it to be extremely accurate. I've been shooting it for a while now. And overall, as part of the review, I think this is an absolutely great round. Uh, it's good for long-distance shooting. If you want something with a good ballistic coefficient, you're going to be reaching out there three, four, five, six, seven hundred yards with 300 blackout. I would definitely suggest something like this. Uh, it's definitely a good all-around, all-purpose round. Okay, so here's the box, and like I said on the bottom, you can see all the different icons. It says it's good for hunting, it's good for target shooting, it's good for competition, it's good for home defense. I mean, they, they really do say that this is kind of your all-around uh, projectile, and that's what we're going to be testing out today because on the back, you can see what it shows. It shows that it does have a hollow point with that resin tip, and it also gives us an idea of what the expansion should look like on the round. Now here's a little bit more information on the on the side. You can see 300 blackout, 125 grain NPR. Uh, this stuff is moving pretty quick. We're going to go ahead and shoot this using uh, the build that I did with MSRArms.com. We built this 300 blackout with a Wilson Combat match barrel. It's a 16 inch barrel, so we're going to get pretty good velocity out of this thing. Uh, really nice phase 5 handguard and phase 5 muzzle brake. Now let's go ahead and check out our ballistics gel setup. Okay, so here's our setup. We have our 16-inch clear ballistics gel block that I am going to leave the cellophane on because everything's been getting really dirty in the wind, and I want it to be nice and clear for that first shot. Behind the clear ballistics gel block, we have a bottle of water. Behind that, we have an older ballistics gel block that has a level 3A vest on it from a test I was doing a little bit earlier in the day. So between those three items, we should definitely be able to capture our projectile. So let's go ahead and test it out. Now, I should mention that that little bit of cellophane that I left on the block isn't going to have any effect on the results of our test whatsoever. It was just simply there to help keep the block clean until it was time for me to shoot it. But that being said, we actually got pretty lucky. We captured the projectile in the bottle of water, so we will have that to take a look at here in just a little bit and compare it to what it should look like or what they say it looks like on the box. But first, we're going to take a closer look at the gel block itself and kind of check out our results. And the results are absolutely amazing. You can see here we have several inches of penetration before we get any type of expansion. That expansion leads to about an inch and three quarters permanent wound cavity. And then about halfway down the block, you actually get kind of a violent separation of some of the jacket from the projectile. And each one of those pieces of the jacket kind of separate and leave their own little like mini wound channels. So it's just a devastating round. You can see right there the amount of of violence that happened in the center of that gel block is, is so amazing. And then again, we have our little almost like separate wound channels from that separating jacket. And then the core of that or the main part of the projectile continued on. So we have over 16 inches of penetration into our bottle of water. And now let's go ahead and take a look at the projectile up close. 
So here's our bullet that we caught in the bottle of water, and we have it sitting on the box next to the picture of what, what they say it should look like, and it looks exactly how they advertise it. It is just this huge slug of lead and copper. Now, the only thing that we don't know is whether or not it was supposed to shed those petals or not. Uh, from what I've seen, I haven't been able to find anything about that. Uh, theirs just basically shows the squished projectile. Our squished projectile looks exactly the same. However, we did have a little bit of loss in copper jacket. Now, taking a look at the back, you can see that the copper jacket actually folded around the back of the projectile, and you can see the the lead in the front there is just kind of making this huge kind of mushroom effect. But that led to that expansion led to a lot of kinetic energy being dumped. You can see here at about the two and three quarter inches mark is when we have our expansion beginning, and then we have full expansion by the four inch mark. And around that four, four and a half inch mark, our expansion was uh, on the permanent wound cavity was about an inch and three quarters. Now, the one interesting thing is that the petals that came off, or not necessarily, I wouldn't say the petals, but the fragments of the copper jacket were deposited at the 14 inch mark, the 12 inch mark, the 11 inch mark, and they all left their own little permanent wound channel as the base traveled on through all 16 inches. So overall, great expansion. It worked just like they said that it would. Uh, it is extremely devastating. You get great penetration. So over 16 inches of penetration while still providing that much expansion and that much permanent wound channel is just extremely impressive. And again, it's a really accurate round even out to longer ranges. So if you're interested in checking out this ammunition, I'll put a link to where I got it from. And if you're interested in testing out your own ammo and just having fun with your own clear ballistics gel block, because it is perfectly legal for anybody to buy this stuff, I'll put a link to clearballistics.com and this particular block as well uh, in the description box. So thank you all very much for watching. It was a lot of fun doing my first clear ballistics test with this stuff, with a brand new block. And uh, hopefully we'll be doing it again very soon using the Hornady Critical Defense and Critical Duty. Thank you all very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and have a great day.